have a case of a gentleman who was on a uh, party cruise at night with some friends and some family, and they were enjoying themselves on the cruise, and then it came time that the cruise was over, they had to disembark from the cruise. They came to the dock, and the boat company had a worker station there to assist the people to get off the boat and onto the dock. And the way they did that was they would install this small little plank that connected the boat to the dock. And the plank would be nailed in. They had The plank had these nails at the bottom of them, and they would take these two nails on the bottom of the plank and stick them into two small holes that were in the boat. And that's how the plank would be attached to the boat, and then they would rest on the dock. And the people would step up onto the plank and then walk the three or four foot distance from the plank to the dock and during that time they'd be crossing over the water uh, for that short distance. Well my client was walking off the boat and he stepped onto the plank and sure enough there was some type of a wave or some type of a wind gust or something that caused the boat to shift which is common it happens all the time that the water is choppy and it moves and when that happened my client fell off the plank and into the water. In that process he must have knocked his leg either on the boat or the dock and he sustained a very serious injury to his leg which later required surgery and a whole bunch of treatment. The allegation we made was very simple. The plank that they had which connected the dock to the boat didn't have any railings. It was just a flat piece of metal but it enabled somebody to fall over if they shifted from one side to the other and they have to know that these waves or this choppy water or wind they, this happens all the time. People know that when boats sit in water, they don't just sit still. They go up and down a little bit. There's a swaying. And so uh, the owners had to know that this was something that could happen. It happens all the time. And our claim was very simple. There should have been railings on the side of this plank. And there weren't any. And as a result of that, my client fell into the water and sustained serious injuries. So I thought it was a pretty simple case, frankly. And you know, I, I think that was borne out because we went through the, the motions of the case. But in the end, I think the defendants realized we were right. And we, and we ended up coming to a settlement in that matter fairly quickly. I think the defendants realized that they were in a difficult position. I think it was pretty obvious and, and most people would be willing to accept the argument that in that situation, to be reasonably safe, that the plank should have had some type of railings on the side so that people could be prevented from falling over into the water. Mm -hmm.